so now in this video we will create the text field for the title and for the description and also we will upload the title and description and the user id to our database so on the add item form dot dot file right here we will say final then underscore add item form key this will be equals to global key right here we will type form state after this we will create a bool variable by the name of is processing and this is processing will be by default it will be equals to false then after this the underscore title controller will be equals to the text rating controller and the underscore description controller will be equals to the text rating controller so type these two lines and now right here instead of returning the container we will return a form widget so inside this form The key will be equals to underscore head item key form, and then in the child, we will create a column widget, and inside this column widget, we will create a children, and then inside this children, we will add a padding. So, padding. then padding const edge inserts dot only from the left it will be 8.0 from the right it will be 8.0 as well and from the bottom it will be 24 and after this we will create another child and then a column widget and in here we will say cross access alignment will be cross, cross access alignment dot start then we will create a children and inside this children we will add a size box of height 24.0 then we will add a text and that text will be title so like this as you can see we open up our text widget and inside this text widget we have a text title then we give it a style and inside this style we have the color and the color will be the same as we use on the home.dart file so we can just copy it from here and paste it right here then the font size is 22 the letter spacing is 1 and the font weight is dot bold after this text we will add a size box of height 8.0 and then we will add a custom form field so we open up our custom form field widget and also you need to import this custom form field or dart file at the top as well to remove any error as you can see custom form field and also if we scroll down right here we will import this validator.dart file as well at the top so make sure to import this at the top as well so now in the custom phone field we have the is labeled enabled to false and the controller will be underscore title controller then the focus node will be widget.title focus node the keyboard type will be input text input type dot text the input action will be text input action dot next then we use the validator and the validator name is validate field so let me show you if you open up the validator dot dot file as you can see we use this validator which is validate field and if something wrong wrong happens it will show this text which is text field cannot be empty if someone tries to leave the text field empty then it will show this text right here 
then the label will be title and the hint will be write your title after this we will use a size box of 520 we need to use this uh, outside this custom font field right here and now we need to create a custom font field for the description as well so it will be same as the title so from here we will just simply copy all of this and paste it right down below the size box so paste it change this title to description the color will be the same the font size will be also 22 the letter spacing will be 1 and font width will be bold then we are a size box and right here we will set the max lines to 10 and the controller will be equals to underscore description controller because this is for the description and also the focus node will be changed to widget dot description focus node the keyboard type and the input action will be the same and the validator will be also the same but we need to change the label to description and the hint will be changed to write your description and now where this padding ends okay this one right here we will say underscore is processing so if the data is uploading to our database then uh, in the if section we will show a circular progress indicator so if is processing then right here we will show a padding and inside this padding what we will do is to say that padding const agent sets dot all and it will be 16.0 and then we will create a child and inside this child we will use a circular progress indicator and inside this circular progress indicator the value color will be always stop animation then right here we will type color then brackets and inside these brackets the color will be color dot or in accent okay so this was for the if condition so if processing then we will show this we will show this circular progress indicator and right here we will say else the we will show a container widget so we will say container and inside this container its width will be double dot max infinite then we will open up a child and inside this child we will have a elevated button and inside this elevated button we will give it a style so for that we will type uh, style then we open up this button style and inside this button style we have this background color okay background color then material state property dot all and the color will be color stored or in accent then we have this shape then we type material state property dot all and the shape will be rounded triangle border and its value will be 10 so the border radius value is 10 after this button style we have the on pressed method so let's leave this as it is for now right here we will open up a child then we will say padding and inside this padding widget we will say padding agent sets dot only from the top 16.0 from the bottom it will be also 16.0 then after this we will open up a child and then a text widget and inside this text widget we have this text which is add data then we have a style the font size will be 24 the font weight will be dot bold and the color will be colors dot blue gray and the letter spacing is 2 so our add item form list is completed and now we go back to the add screen dot dot file right here we have everything completed now if we check the home dot dot 
and right here inside this floating action button we will add a navigator so we say navigator dot of constant dot push and the material root will be the add screen and make sure to import the add screen dot dot file at the top as well where is it okay right here so make sure to import it at the top so whenever the user click on this button the floating action button the user will be redirected to the add screen and on the add screen we have this app bar and then we call this class which is this one and inside this class we will show the user the text field which is title and description and then we have this button which is add data so our design is now completed and now let's just refresh our application and now right here if we input our data and then click on this now as you can see this is our beautiful design we have this text field which is write your title and then we have this one which is write your description and then we have this button add data so now in the next video we will work on this add data button okay which is this one we will work uh, on this on pressed so whenever a user uh, fill this forms and then click on this uh, add data button then the data will be stored inside our database so we will do that in the next video so see you guys in the next one